Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, I present uh, this work a uh, comparison of the use of the personal learning environments PRL, between students from Chile and Ecuador. Um, this, this is an initial approach. And the work team was uh, Miguel Angel Cornel Gonzalez, Jose Rafael Garcia Almejo Jiménez, Francisco José Garcia Peñalbo, Patricio Maranta Ramos, y Jorge Conagra. Uh, the this presentation is, is, was structured in, in six elements. Introduction, technological context in Chile and Ecuador, materials and method, results, and conclusions. In the first part, we I talk about uh, the context of the, this inspiration. In, in this moment, exists a problem in cooperation of PLMs in a traditional education educational <coughs> models center in the curriculum and facilitated by the instructor. Why? The influence of the Web 2.0 technologies in a educational context, context of creation, personaliz personalization, mobility. Uh, another big issue is the current adoption of BLMs respond to traditional educational models centered on <coughs> curriculum and using structured guidance. Uh, because this investigation and the main objective of type of this research is to find difference between the university educational context from Chile and Ecuador about the user virtual classroom and as quantitative elements on their PLAs. <coughs> what happened in each country? In Chile, in this moment, according to the latest report, published by CEPAL in 2011 about ICT applied to teaching and learning process. 51% of the household have a desktop or computer or laptop. 40% of the population has entered in their homes and 94% of the population has at least one more five subscription. It's very interesting in uh, numbers. In another hand, in Ecuador, according to the last and reports published by the National Institute of Statistics and Census about ICT development in the country. We found 26% of the household have a desktop computer, while the 13th person have a last one laptop. 55% of the population has used the internet in the last 11 months, and the 59% of the access on the internet has been once a day. 50% of the population has at least one mobile phone subscription. However, only the 12% of the phones are smartphones. How we work? What is the materials and medical use? This, uh, was, this was a quantitative research and an experimental study and a transpersonal trans Sectional and descriptive methodology. Because the data collection process was applied in one moment and descriptive, because are going to investigate the use of the virtual classroom as two constitutive uh, like a PLS and a group of the college students. What what is the characteristic <coughs> of the population and the sample? In the case of the Ecuador, uh, we have chosen the course in anal mode due to that the big application of the instrument they have been working with virtual classroom and considerable time. In this case, since of September 2011, allowing their opinions to be more objective, unlike course semi anal mode, they have started a new semester academic recently. All in the context of the the student of care or the informatics applied to education of National University of Chimborazo, UNACH, uh, and was a state who are this student in our mind. In the case of Chile, uh, we have chosen the course in seminar mode due to the date of the application of instruments of a uh, student have been working with virtual classroom and considerable time approximately mid three years. Well, it was uh, the instrument was, 
we use in this event in this world. The instrument was a survey prepared in a form and it was divided into five dimensions, definite, previous, theoretical uh, conditions. <coughs> The five dimensions are the use of virtual classroom and mobile technologies in general, about the tools of access to information, about the guiding tools and disclosure, about social and communication tools, and for last, about the relevance of the use of the virtual classroom in the learning process. Mm. It's important to say the instrument was implemented through the Google Doc Forms. Mm. The, in a, a way, interactive and virtual way uh, that allow us our, uh, allow us to want to refine the instrument to apply to definitely in both university and the collect data through the internet and was uh, analyzed by the program SPSS Statistics so. What are the characteristics, uh, the initial characteristics of the sample? The total of surveyable country we found 85 valid records, 40% 40, 40 uh, belong to Ecuador uh, College and 58% of Chile students. Uh, another characteristic in, in distribution of the age. Uh, the mean of the survey rate is 28 years old and the standard deviation is, is was 2 years, 2.78 years <coughs> approximately. And you can look in the graphic, the principal age between 21 and 23 years old. About the results, what what was the result of in, in each dimension uh, uh, questions? In the first time, about using tools to access information. In this case, uh, 21 uh, percent disagrees disagrees strongly disagree with the adequacy of the content, documents, presentations posed in virtual classroom. While most do agree that this resource is sufficient, the 48% and approximately 6% fully agree. It is also important to mention that 30% is indifferent uh, to this question. We realize a comparison between what happened in the situation and between male and female of the sample. Uh, according to the grid, the application of the field test for independent samples and lateral significance, assuming equal variance in the comparison, we determined that there are no difference between gender of respondent and use the tools to access information. In, in this case, we can say the <coughs> sample is very uh, homogeneous for these characteristics. What happened with the dimension about the editing tools and publication of information? We see that over 50% of respondents use only programs installed in our computer for editing its content but also shows that once on three responded, 30% approximately disagree or strongly disagree with this statement, which suggests that this group of students are using online tools for editing documents, presentations, videos, image, etc. In the next dimension come uh, questions about their relation chip and communication tools. This group of questions research on the results that students use for the communication where 44% of the respondents use only for <coughs> academic reasons. <coughs> Challenges like chat, researching and virtual platform forums. On the other hand, 45% of the respondents felt that compulsory participation in forums of virtual classroom is the reason for use and to a lesser extent by 38% on Bible.
uh, in this part of the investigation, we realized a comparison between countries. Uh, it's very interesting because in, in the last group of questions, consulted by the national ID, there were no significant value less than 0 0.005. Mm -hmm. uh, it set a value with gradient homogeneity among the countries compared. Some, something like similar with the gender in founding in the first part of the investigation. They used the collaboration tools for data communication and this learning environment and similar, similar in both cases. Finally, conclusions. It's important to note that while it is true that the nature of the investigation cannot be reached in the generalization because the sample is very small, uh, you can open a line to of research on the field of ICT for teaching and learning process. Second, in the use of virtual classroom, up to 36% 36, 36 of the students following the study take advantage of this virtual space for activities outside of the university. The majority, 63%, indicate that the use is strictly academic. Third, those relic source exposed in virtual classroom are considered to be sufficient by more than 50% of the students surveyed, although they do not <coughs> access all their resources exposed. The programs that are installed and on computers work for the students are still the most useful to accomplish their stars. The socialist through virtual classroom, but initial use of <coughs> online tools is also evident for editing and published content. This is uh, another line of investigation, the cloud, histo uh, cloud storage. We also find that in general management of the technological aspect, there are no significant differences which allows inferring the same level of te technological penetration in both countries. Finally, as the weather, uh, there are differences in the context of using the PLN among students in Chile and Ecuador. There are no major differences except for some particular parameters pertaining to the creation of content modules in this country. Thank you very much and I...